this could be one of the best of 2024. Boom! Did I scare you? I scared myself a little bit here. I thought I was gonna break it. No, not the knife. The table. This thing, this thing ain't breaking. This is the Magana Steel Aurelia, and let's talk about it. So this is the Aurelia by my friend Sharif. He designed this one. You've seen other knives of his, of course, the Kaimano, one of my more favorite knives as well. I beat the piss out of that thing, and it is, it is holding up. This thing is a workhorse. Another fan favorite of mine, of course, as well. Well, Sharif came out with this one, which is, to me, kind of a more minimal, laid-back design. It really only have just kind of a, a one logo, nothing else. It's Like I said, it's very minimal. This is going to be designed for somebody who is really, really into just minimalist, but yet wants to use this as a hard work. Also wants to use it as a show-style knife as well. Ralia is going to be a magna cut steel blade with titanium, high-end materials, OEM'd by Riot. Of course, anything coming out of Riot like uh, Chavez, one of my other favorite brands as well. You know, if you've seen a Chavez, that comes out of Riot as well. So you know that the premium materials are going to be right there here. You know, a lot of people in the knife community would say Magna Cut Steel is the way to go, the only way to go. I'm going to go over the knife, go over some of the specs, and just kind of the all around appearance, how I feel, how I like using it. I've been pocketing this thing for just a little about, gosh, I think two weeks at this point here, and I'm blown away. This could be the best knife of 2024. And spoiler alert, it's going to make it in the list of my favorite of best 2024. Quick overall specs. The OEM is Riat. The designer is Sharif Manganis. Really just one logo right up there on the front. And this one is the M390 blade because it's a prototype which you will see this very similar aesthetics as far as the finish and everything on that blade, of course. But you will get a Magna Cut with HRC 63, which is unbelievable. And this M390 is definitely no slouch. And you're looking at a blade length of 3.6 inches, a handle length of 4.8 inches, and an overall length of 8.4 inches. This thing is a bigger EDC knife. It is definitely not small, but it feels a lot smaller in pocket. I'll talk about that as well here. Uh, the weight itself, because it's titanium, is 4.4 ounces. Man, that thing is light. Man, is it light. Okay, let's talk about that blade. You know, I talked about it's going to be Magna Cut with 63 HRC. You've got a flat grind with a stone wash. So this is what it will look like as well. When you get it in the Magna Cut, it's got a dual thumb studs on each side and an over-the-top flipper tab, which I'm a huge fan of. Do I use it that often? No, but it is so fun to fidget. I'm I'm kind of a person that likes to fidget with knives. Let's just, let's just be honest. The scales are going to be your fully contoured titanium scales with a stone wash finish. Super, super elegant. Somebody in the comments said, man, that looks like it's going to be super, super slick. And I'm going to be honest with you, I, I don't think it's slick at all. Compared to the way it looks, it definitely is more tacky. I'll just be honest with you. I have no problems using this knife. I've had no issues slipping and sliding. It just, you know, it just looks that way. So as you've been seeing, I've been flipping this out, dropping her shut. And man, oh man, is it nice and smooth. It drops shut just like I want a knife to drop shut and open up here. The detent is on point. It flies out like crazy and drops down exactly the way I want the drop down. And that's because it's going to be on bearings and it's a dual way pivot. So it's going to be compatible with skiff bearings and skiff washers. And the thick washers are going to be something for some who's going to be the hard worker. You know, if you've ever seen like a Chris Reeves knife, Chris Reeves makes all of his knives on super thick, heavy-duty washers. And that's because it's going to give the uh, blade play. Sometimes people have said it's kind of mushy or anything like that with uh, bearings. I don't foresee that personally, but there's going to be people who are going to heavy use a knife. And that's where maybe you'd want to switch over and use those heavy-duty thick washers. I think it's just fine. Um, I'd like to try it out with some skiff bearings or skiff washers just to kind of see how it feels. The pre-order price is going to be $280, and 
And the wait for that's going to be like four months. Let's just kind of put that way. And it's on pre-order. So you can get your hands on it if you pre-order it. And what I like about the idea of a pre-order is, let's just use the Zahn for example, you know. This knife sells out so fast. It's not like a five-year waiting period. It's just bananas how long it takes to get your hands on one of these. So that's what I kind of like about the idea that Sharif has got a pre-order going right now. You know, Metal Complex gets his hand on this. Everybody sees it, and it's sold out in minutes, and you can't get your hands on it. So pre-order is really nice, so that's kind of a cool idea. And I brought on the uh, Umnenzan from Chris Reeve, and it's got a little bit of uh, resemblance there. I'm going to use it as an example because, hey, look at this. You put these side by side, size comparisons here. Man, you know, we talked about the specs, incredibly close. All right, so if this is the size of a knife you like, definitely going to be a knife that you're going to like as well if you want something like that, but maybe a little just more drop shutty. I don't know if that's even a word. Why is this going to be probably something better? Well, A, it's going to be the price. B, it's going to be faster to get your hands on. There's going to be more availability. Now we talk about premium grade materials. The Zahn has premium grade materials, Magnica steel. You got titanium frame lock and scales on there as well. And man, just look at the action of that comparative. I'm not trying to make this a comparison video. I'm a super huge fan of the Umland Zahn, you could probably say I'm a fanboy, but I'm using it as an example because that's how great this knife really is. He compares it to the Sabenza, and I'll be honest with you, it's very reminiscent. 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 It resembles the Sabenza quite a bit, and uh, I would agree. I don't have one on table to compare it to, so I'll just compare it to the Umland Zahn, and let's just kind of compare it to a couple other knives here as well. Um, here is a Benchmade Bug Out. You know, something that maybe everybody has in the EC community, so I want to kind of compare it to that. Uh, Size-wise, you know, um, a much larger pocket clip. And, you know, speaking of the pocket clip, let's just kind of take a look at that pocket clip. How contoured that is. It is very elegant at the same time here. Um, not super deep carry, so you're going to see about that much sticking out of the pocket, which isn't so bad. It's not going to be super deep carry like the uh, Benchmade bug out will be. You know, you're looking at how deep carry that one's going to be. And looking at the Umlenzan, of course, same thing. You know, you're looking at the pocket clip, not super deep carry. Um, let's grab another knife here. Here is the Chavez. This is the RCK9. Of course, much, much shorter length and stuff. But look at the girth of that. Look how thick that's going to be inside your pocket. Look how thin that is. The profile is absolutely great. So it's going to be easy to carry. Let's show up another knife here. Uh, let's go with the Andrew Demko 8020.5. Shorter, of course. Um, like I said, we're not comparing it to it. I'm just giving you a size comparison to knives that you may already have here and uh, give you an idea about, you know, how big is it really? You know, it is not a super, super big knife, but it's not a super, super small knife. Uh, looking at the profile of the Demco. And, you know, it's a little bit more girthy, of course, but like I said, it's a bigger knife altogether. Comparing it to the Kaimano, ooh, man, I love that knife. <laughs> um, Size-wise, as you can see, Sharif is kind of a fan of the larger knives. Um, You see him designing knives for, I would say, the everyday carry and also the worker. I keep comparing it to the, uh, the Umnenzan just because of the size itself and the titanium, the materials. You know, I just keep comparing it to it. Uh, something that large. Now, uh, would it be cool to see some designs in there? Yeah, but I also like how minimal this is here. You know, you, you talk about design work. The designs on this knife are more in the inside, I'm going to say here. There is some liner cutouts inside there for weight reduction. That's what makes it really super light. Sharif has got this thing that's super, super detail oriented. If you look at the jimping inside the lock bar, Great to get your hand in there. Also, it looks just stunning. Very easy to open it up and close it. I think the detail that Sharif puts into his knives is absolutely cool. We talked about that pocket clip, but look at that cutout. The relief on there is super nice. You know, this clip is not going to eat up your pocket. You know, the Chavez one, that one definitely gets a little phrase on the uh, on the pocket and stuff. And one thing I like about the 
Benchmade bug out pocket clip is, you know, it's super easy and smooth in and out of the pocket, but it doesn't really look that elegant. That's what I really like about this one here. You know, it also doesn't have any screws. I love how it looks. It's just super clean. The lines and everything here are super clean as well. You know, so that's one thing. It's really kind of when I talk about that uh, detail orient that Sharif has, the lines are great. No screws there. The one thing I wanted to kind of talk about here is I heard somebody bring up the jimping on the blade here. Um, they mentioned that it's almost like non-existent or useless. And I'm going to, I'm going to debunk that right now here. All you have to do is just run your, your finger right here and then run it right here. <laughs> Huge difference. That is, yeah, they're, they're not just non-existent. They are there and they, they work in my opinion. I think maybe, maybe my thumbs are built different than other people's, but I like it. I'm trying to squeeze into it. Like I said, I like to squeeze the knife and really kind of feel, is there any hot spots? And you kind of see the red marks. A little bit, but you know, normally if you were to do that, like to the the Chavez, let's just see here, this is super non scientific, but you know, you can see the red spots there. Just how does it feel in hand? And this one, this one does really good, and you can attest that by you know just how smooth it is here. So I could really put this thing to work. I'll be honest with you, this could be a knife that I would definitely put to work for sure. So typically at this time I would be doing like a cut test, but because this is a prototype and this is going to be the M390, you know, this is going to be Kind of silly to do a cut test because it's not the same blade. Plus, this one is not a new edge. Um, I haven't sharpened it. I don't even know if I've even put a uh, a strop through it either. But it would be kind of silly to show a kind of review. But what we can do is show if this is a five finger knife. One, two, three, four. And the fifth one, let's see if the pinky can do it. Five. Yes, it's a five finger knife. Technically, it's more than that here because you could do over the top with the thumb. Of course, you can use the thumb studs. Uh, the five finger test is really just kind of a non scientific detent test. And for your lefties, of course, I'm not ambidextrous very well, but you can certainly open and close it with your left hand with no issues and close it. I'm not very ambidextrous. I do, I'm primarily a right handed person. And uh, like I said, you can do that with your left hand. Super easy. It's comfortable in hand as well. I mean, in a pinch, I would definitely be able to do that. Like I said, I'm just not very ambidextrous. There we go. The Aureli is definitely going to be one of my favorite knives of the year for sure. Check out msknives.com. And if you like what Sharif is doing, check out this video right here. I forget how much I like this thing. Whew, man.